So up next is the evergreen. Um, and I'm not talking, well, yes, technically I am talking about the evergreen tree, but it's those trees that you actually want to use as a shelter. I'm not saying, you know, just hide under a tree, but, um, with how it's made, the shelter actually uses the evergreen branches and the needles. These are actually very good to use due to the fact that... The needles do tend to stay a little bit longer, but this would actually make this a temporary shelter. Um, the reason why it's called the evergreen shelter is because you're using the pine branches of an evergreen tree. Um, the reason why they call them an evergreen is because of the fact that they actually stay green all year round. But since you're actually going to be using the branches, it won't stay like that for long because they need water to actually survive all year round. Um, using the branches off of an evergreen tree will actually help improve the insulation, thus keeping you warmer. Um, another benefit of this is that it actually helps to cover the roof and the walls a little bit better. So it will actually help block the rain and the snow and you know the wind and stuff like that a little bit more so that way it'll actually help keep you warmer and drier for longer plus you can actually use the evergreen needles and branches as a bedding because of how soft they are yes I know they can be a little pointy but it all depends on how you lay on them too uh, thus adding a little extra insulation Especially for when you're actually sleeping. That way you're not just right on the cold hard ground. This will actually help keep you warmer and uh, the ground will not sap your body heat as quickly. So therefore, the evergreen shelter is actually a little bit more beneficial as far as insulating and heat and stuff like that being held in. So... Therefore, I would say the Evergreen is one of the better shelters to actually use due to the fact that it will keep you warmer longer.